Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome. This is video number 356. My dear students, colleagues, subscribers and followers, uh, I am going to estimate uh, automatic ERIMA model selection using simulated data in eViews. I have imported some simulated data from uh, Excel and uh, the data is here. I have two variables, one is y, first I would like to try this y variable and uh, let me open this as a spreadsheet, this is uh, the y variable, uh, there are 500 observations from 1979 month 5 up to 2020 month uh, 12, so this is up to December uh, 2020. Uh, first of all, I would like to examine the line graph of this uh, series and uh, this is the line graph and uh, presumably this seems uh, that the y series is stationary so i am not going to take uh, first or the first difference or the second difference uh, after that uh, i would like to show how to i would like to show how to um, estimate automatic ERIMA model using eViews. But before that, uh, I like to show the AR1, AR2 and uh, MA1 of this series. So, I have already estimated those models and I want to share it with you. This is my ERIMA model that um, I have estimated. Uh, this, is, uh, this is my AR1 model, sorry. And uh, this one is my uh, AR2 model. And uh, this one is uh, my uh, MA1 model, so I can uh, I can use them side by side uh, to compare these three models. So uh, since I know that uh, this series is a uh, AR1, this is my AR1 model. Now the coefficient of AR1 is 0 0.74, which is almost the same that uh, I have simulated the data with this uh, is significant this is very good r squared is 0 0.554 uh, the Durban margin is uh, almost uh, 2 a little less than 2 so presumably um, this doesn't pose any problem regarding serial autocorrelation uh, this is a ar2 model uh, and uh, the Durban margin is almost the same the um, r squared is almost the same and the coefficient of the AR1 is uh, 0 0.78 and it is highly significant but the coefficient of the AR2 is uh, not significant and it is minus. So, uh, by comparing these two models, the AR1 uh, seems better than AR2. Now, coming to the comparison of a MA1 and um, AR1, here the coefficient of MA1 is 0 0.59 which is highly significant but uh, this is not the correct coefficient because the one that I used for simulating the data was 0 0.7. So, and uh, the Durban Watson state is also much lesser as uh, compared to the AR1 model, and the R squared value is also less than the R squared value of the AR1. Now, I'll uh, compare the Akaike information criteria and the Schwaz information criteria for the three models. This is 3.21 for Akaike information criterion and uh, for a kai information criteria for the ar1 model this is 2.91 and uh, for the ar2 model this is 2.919 so among the three models on the basis of a kai information criteria uh, i would choose uh, ar1 model because the a kai information criterion value is um, less in uh, AR1 as compared to AR2 and um, uh, MA1 model. So, this is good. Now, I would like to uh, test the second variable and that is my Z variables and uh, let me also share its graph with you. Uh, this graph also shows that the series uh, is oscillating around zero mean there are ups and downs, but uh, the, the series seems uh, stationary uh, with uh, zero mean. This is also AR1, 
and uh, I can also compare with you the three models that is AR1 for the Z variable and uh, that is the AR2 for the Z variable and uh, that is the MA1 for the Z variable. So, again if I compare these three models, the AR1 the coefficient is 0 0.66. The double Martin is 0 0.203 and the R squared is 0 0.437295. And uh, again, for the R2 model, uh, the coefficient is more or less the same, but the coefficient of the R2 is not significant and the double Watson is less than 2. And uh, regarding MA1, the coefficient is 0 0.49, it is significant, but the R squared is very much less than the AR1 model and the AR2 model and the Durban Watson value is much lesser as compared to the Durban Watson state in the case of AR1 and AR2. Uh, now coming to compare the various information criterion, the AKIK information criterion value for the AR1 is 2.810 and the corresponding value for the AKIK information criteria uh, for the AR2 model is 2.813 and the AKIK information criterion value for the MA1 model is 3.01. So, among the three models on the basis of AKIK information criteria, uh, AR1 is okay. Now, on the basis of uh, Schwarz criterion, this value is 2.835 for uh, AR1 and uh, 284 for uh, AR2 and uh, this value is 3.0387 for uh, um, MA1. So, based on Schwarz criteria, we also would select or choose uh, AR1 as the best among the three. So, this is this is so because I knew that uh, Z and uh, the Y series uh, are uh, AR1. But what if we don't know about uh, the best model in the beginning. Uh, we can try and uh, compare various models and then we can select the best the best model. However, however, uh, by default, uh, in uh, eViews, without comparing these models, uh, we can uh, use uh, one function and uh, we can select the best model. So, now let me open Z as a, a variable, this is my z variable and uh, let me do like this, I will go to PRAC and here is the automatic ARIMA forecasting. Now, I would click on none because the, the series is already stationary, so I am not taking any difference and uh, let me take 5 leg maximum for uh, AR and uh, uh, five, uh, 6 legs for uh, moving average and uh, among options I will click on ARMA criteria table, ARMA criteria graph and uh, equation output table and uh, I will click OK. So, it is uh, doing iterations and uh, after a few moments it will give me the final model. So, here is the final model that uh, um, EVUs estimated for me. Uh, this gives us the summary and uh, EVUs estimated 49 ARMA models, 49 models and it selected the best model uh, with P equal to 5 and Q equal to 4. It means that uh, it has taken 5 legs for the auto regression and 4 legs for the moving average. And uh, if I scroll down, here are the coefficients of the AR5 uh, uh, legs and uh, these uh, AR1, AR2, AR3 and AR4 coefficients are uh, significant, but the coefficient for the AR5 is not significant. Uh, it is also significant. The coefficient for MA1 is not significant, but uh, none of the coefficients for the moving averages is uh, significant. And uh, this has been selected uh, as uh, the best uh, model, the best ERIMA 
uh, forecasting model by e views its uh, r squared value is uh, 0 0.48 and its adjusted square uh, value is 0 0.47 durban watson is 1.995 uh, almost 2 so there seems no problem of auto correlation and uh, this is the uh, model selection criteria table and uh, based on uh, these criteria and since we are using a kike information criteria so this model having uh, five legs for auto regression and four legs for uh, moving average the value of the kike kike information criteria is minimum so it has selected this similarly for the um, bic uh, these are it has been selected on the basis of aic criteria and uh, regarding the ekk information criteria on the basis of arma criterion graph uh, 5 4 that is 5 legs on ar and 4 legs on um, moving average uh, with this value of the ekk information criteria uh, this model this model has been selected so my dear students colleagues ladies and gentlemen uh, eviews has the facility uh, that we can use for uh, selecting the best model and that can be done uh, here in Prague and uh, this is the uh, command so uh, this is how we can do that so in this video I showed it how to select the best ERIMA forecasting model using eviews for the simulated data in the coming video I'll uh, do the same thing for uh, uh, I'll do the same thing for uh, um, estimating best ERIMA model in views for the real world data i hope uh, this is quite informative for you and uh, we can also do like this um, for comparison uh, various models and uh, this can be done by clicking on window and then clicking on tile then we can uh, compare the criterion value for the various models i hope this was quite useful and uh, informative for you uh, i thank you very much for uh, your uh, attention if you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly do it.